Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. Appeal hearing in Russia for detained U.S. citizen Trevor Reed will be held Tuesday, state media says. Trevor Reed, an American citizen detained in Russia for nearly three years, has an appeal hearing scheduled for Tuesday morning, according to Russian state news agency TASS. Reed had started a second hunger strike in protest of his treatment by Russian authorities, according to his parents, who met with President Joe Biden last month after holding a protest outside the White House to bring awareness to their son's case. Regarding the upcoming court appeal, parents Joey and Paula Reed said in a statement they have little hope for a successful judicial outcome, but believe their son's appeal rights should be pursued vigorously. Over the weekend, we were able to re-establish indirect contact with Trevor who remains in hospital as far as we know. We have not been able to confirm that directly, nor are we able to confirm Trevor is receiving any meaningful medical care," Reed's parents said in the statement. As we have said, Trevor has been to this prison hospital numerous times and has received no medical care. Over the past 970 days, Russian authorities have lied repeatedly about Trevor's health and continue to believe he likely has TB and is out of time. We urge the administration to act urgently to bring our son home before it's too late. Some context. Reed, a former U.S. Marine, was detained in Moscow in 2019 for purportedly endangering Russian police officers during an altercation. In 2020, he was sentenced to nine years in prison. His father told CNN last month that an attorney was able to pass along a handwritten note from Reed in which he said he's okay, but is coughing up blood and was only receiving aspirin for treatment. Trevor had some sort of injury where he thinks he might have a broken rib. Plus, he has all the symptoms of active tuberculosis. He went to a prison hospital for about 10 days. And then they didn't treat him. They took an x-ray that didn't work, Joey Reed said. And when they brought him back to his prison he said, I need to go back. I am still hurt and sick. And they put him to solitary confinement again, where he had been for most of the last seven months. So he is protesting that. That's against all Russian regulations and European human rights. Joey Reid had previously said he's concerned the Russian invasion of Ukraine will worsen his son's fate. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for our channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.